Hi, everybody. Uh, well, it has been the quiet day that I thought it would be. Not much rain out there. I did believe we had a good chance to see sun breaks. That really has not happened. But at the time of this recording, it is uh, in the four o'clock hour, 63 degrees in Portland. My forecast high was 62. So despite the lack of sun, it's certainly a warmer day out there. And hopefully you've been enjoying it. Okay, well, we are getting close to some action, and that's where I begin. So notice this system offshore. It's already throwing some clouds up into our region. One of the reasons that the sunbreak part of my forecast has failed today, this low will bring instability, and I still believe it brings increasing rain during the day tomorrow with heavier rain pockets in the afternoon that may include some thunderstorms, and then eventually behind this front, which comes into Portland around 5 or 6 tomorrow in the afternoon, evening, snow levels will drop to 3,000 feet. And that sets up Mount Hood weekend snow starting um, Friday overnight and then into uh, Saturday morning in the Cascades. So this uh, will be a decent little storm for us. I mean, not overly strong. There are no watches, warnings, advisories for any of the regional weather sites, including Mudford, including Pendleton, up into Seattle or Portland. So uh, just some kind of basic basic weather for this time of the year. Thunderstorms would be a, a nice little jolt of action if that happens. Maybe you hear a rumble of thunder. So the headlines for all of this, um, not much rain tonight. Shower chance continues or the rest of today. But right in the morning, we'll start to see areas of rain increasing. And then with the front coming in around 5 or 6, Heavy rain areas later in the day, maybe a thunderstorm. Behind the front, showers and sunshine. Instability with spotty thunderstorms on Saturday. Could be a real rock and roll day. Some of the modeling loves sunshine and then darkening clouds and a thunderstorm back to sunshine. And then Sunday, I think we start to calm things down. We lose the thunder chance and it's more just typical scattered showers with some sun breaks. Weekend snow level, as I mentioned a moment ago, down to around 3,000 feet. More on that uh, coming up in just a moment. All of this goes with the reminder that the updated outlooks from NOAA and the National Weather Service continue to keep our area generally in a normal to below normal temperature pattern. In fact, from Missouri all the way back to the west, a below normal pattern really expected all the way through the end of this month. This outlook is March 26 to March 30. And then above normal rainfall for a good chunk of Oregon and also up into Washington, again, pretty much through the end of the month. So there are some signs that once we get into April, we'll go on a little dry, warm run somewhere around April 3rd or 4th through maybe the, you know, for four or five days. That hasn't been consistent, but maybe something that some of you are seeing if you look at some of the uh, extended models, kind of waiting to see. I think the, the jury is is definitely out on that, uh, at least right now. All right, here's the active water vapor imagery. And right in here, see the, and again, this is mostly upper level imagery, but it shows you pretty good detail. And that's why a lot of forecasters uh, and on YouTube in particular like to show you the water vapor. So you can see what looks to be some explosive convection right up along the cold front. Here's some moisture already starting to spill in. Again, this trailing low back here is what comes right on top of a Saturday. That's why Saturday could be explosive with some breaks and thunderstorms. Right in this little pocket here where the air dries out, that is the cooler 3,000 foot snow level Saturday into Sunday that will come with scattered showers. And then there are several systems lined up back here in this westerly flow pattern that will keep our rain chances very much alive for a good chunk of next week, which of course is Oregon's spring break. So a couple images. This one is uh, courtesy of KGW TV. This is their future cast model. And this is 6 p.m. Um, tomorrow evening. So here's the front coming in five, six o'clock. Pretty widespread rain later in the day. The bright colors indicate some heavier rain rates and maybe, maybe there's some thunderstorms mixed in. Now, again, we'll see the rain start to pick up, I think at least more so than what we've seen today as early as the morning hours. Now, a couple of products I want to show you in terms of how much rain we're going to get. So this product came out this morning. And again, this was from KGW's feature cast. It showed all total from what falls mainly tomorrow through the day Saturday, a half of an inch in, in Corvallis and maybe closer to three quarters of an inch in Portland and similar amounts at the coast. Now, 24 hours ago, the same model was going over an inch of rain. 
So the models have been trending backwards or trending down in terms of giving us lighter rain amounts than at one point showed up. And now with that in mind, here's the National Weather Service blended model. This goes from right now all the way through Sunday. And all the way through Sunday, this gives us somewhere around three tenths to a half of an inch of rain and maybe 64 one hundredths up in Kelso Longview, about a half of an inch in Portland. And again, this would be maybe a quarter to three or four tenths of an inch of rain tomorrow. And then maybe at most 15 one hundredths to a quarter of an inch of rain on Sunday. That would be the breakdown. Similar amounts again at the coast. It's interesting. The models really aren't giving any more at the beach than they are the valley. Um, and then you've got half of an inch or more, maybe a little bit higher rain amounts up towards Seattle and Olympia. We still have that bullseye of heavier rain amounts down here in the um, southern Oregon coast showing up where you see the red and some major rainfall across all of, uh, of Oregon. So sticking with this national blended weather model, this is the what's meant to be a future radar product. So we're going to see not much rain the rest of today, not much tonight, although a, a shower chance is certainly in the forecast. But this is tomorrow morning, starting around 5, 6 in the morning. So here we are, rain picking up through the mid-morning hours. Here we are getting into late morning, going into afternoon. Now here we are at, uh, at 5 p.m. This doesn't really show you the heavier rain pockets and the color coding, but I do believe they will be there. I believe that's true. But certainly it's raining more than not as that front comes in the latter part of the day into the evening. And then this only goes, yeah, this one is just came in. It only goes into early, early, early Saturday morning. But back here, right back here is that upper level low, the surface low also that trails the cold front. And it's going to continue migrating rounds of showers, likely mixed with sun breaks during the day Saturday and maybe some scattered storms. I, I am really liking the scattered storm chance on Saturday. The more I look at the colder air mass aloft and and the fact that uh, some breaks are absolutely looking to be uh, likely. So what about snow? Certainly possible that Saturday morning we have snow accumulation over the Cascade Passes. Now, so far, those passes have just been wet this entire week. Here's government camp right now in the four o'clock hour at 44 degrees. And all the passes are in great shape, including Cabbage Hill. It's been dry out east for days now. And even the Siskiyou Summit down in California, 53 degrees. How about that? It's getting to be that time of the spring months that you really need a pretty good storm system to hold the Cascade Passes down below freezing during the day. So tomorrow, 5,000 foot snow level front. The cold air doesn't hit the Cascades until tomorrow evening after dark, really. So could be four inches of snow around 5,000 up to 6,000 feet. It'd just be rain at government camp. And then Saturday, the snow level 3,000 feet, but government camp probably gets above freezing during the day. So three to six, maybe the only time the passes are snow covered are early in the morning and then they melt off during the day. One to three Sundays, a shower pattern starts to quiet down. Generally, the snow levels hold below 3,000 feet most hours all the way through Tuesday. With more weather systems coming, none of them strong, you've got to think at least above 4,000 feet, four or five inches on Monday, potentially. Same thing on Tuesday. So if that's the case, at least there would be some decent rounds of fresh powder for skiers and boarders uh, if you're going up for Oregon spring break uh, next week. Um, not terribly cold up there. As you can see, the temperatures at past level, easily above freezing. All right, what about the coast? Number one vacation destination is always the beach here in Oregon. Research uh, shows that. 60 in Lincoln City today. They've had cloud cover, but it's warmed up. Uh, there you can see Tillamaquette. So the clouds are above that from the camera gear up by the sea resort. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? Here are the uh, temperatures for the beach. Every day has some rain and daytime highs generally getting into next week around 50 overnight lows in the forties. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Seattle 54 right now. Every day has some rain. You get into next week. There's a weather front on Monday, another one on Tuesday, another one on Thursday. That's why it's like rain, 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 rain. Not saying it's steady rain, but every day here could see a quarter of an inch of rain. So that's pretty wet, right? Daytime highs again, a little bit above 50, considered slightly cool for this time of the year. You go over in the bend, a lot of people probably would be over in Sun River, maybe enjoying Bachelor over the next couple of weeks for spring break weather. Uh, about the same as Seattle. High temperatures around 50. Colder at night. A snow mix of showers at night would melt off during the day, if you look at the bend forecast. 
Um, and you'd have to get up in elevation and find some decent snow accumulation up in Bachelor. Uh, let's go down to south to Medford. All right. About the same. Low 50s every day has some rain. Temperatures have been really uniform across um, our region over the last, I don't know, handful of, uh, handful of days, certainly. So here's Portland's uh, forecast. Um, 47 tonight, 60 tomorrow. Rain picks up in the morning. We get the heavy rain bands later in the day. A chance of thunderstorms. That may or may not happen. I love the, the scattered spotty storm chance on Saturday with some breaks, 45 to 56. Um, I like a, and there could be some hail mixed in there too. I like a calmer scattered shower days with sun on Sunday. So Sunday maybe opens up some pretty nice dry weather. And then it's raining more than not on Monday, raining more than not on Tuesday, maybe a little bit of a break on Wednesday, raining more than not on Thursday. Overnight lows, if you're a gardener, above 40 at night, daytime highs in the 50s, getting us into that time of the year where you wonder, are we going to see another freezing temperature? I will tell you, nothing shows up right now, but I always caution you to uh, that it's still early in terms of climate to set something out and that would be harmed by freezing temperatures at night. Well, I'm meteorologist Rod Hill. My weather site's portlandweather.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I thank you for watching as always.